guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jeannie. Welcome, I do a little bit of everything on this channel from outdoor adventures, hiking, kayaking, to travel, home life here in Colorado, and just a little bit of everything. So I invite you to subscribe and follow along. I am so excited for today's vlog. We are officially working on our home gym in our unfinished basement. So if you have been following along, you know we just moved to Colorado and I brought a new house here. And one thing I'm so excited about is we have a basement in our house. We have never lived in a house with a basement. And you guys, I am absolutely loving having a basement and it is the perfect place to have a home gym. So our basement is completely unfinished and we do not plan on finishing our basement because we really don't use the space for anything except for our home gym and storage and whatnot. So there's really not a point to finish it. And plus you have to get building permits. There's all these different codes. You have to get electrical and all these things wired for finishing a basement. And we just don't want to put that type of an investment into our basement. So we have a really large basement and just like one portion of the basement is where we're going to be putting in like our our home gym so I have a little bit of footage of the area and space of where we're gonna put the gym I already have some of our workout equipment as I've been unpacking as we've been moving however we're gonna get some new equipment so we can really utilize this space because I don't like gyms I hate going to a gym to work out. I've never been a fan of a gym. I love working out at home on my own time. I don't have to drive anywhere. It's just not my thing. So because we have a lot of the pillow insulation going on down there, um, we are gonna be putting in some temporary walls so we can kind of make the gym a little bit more user friendly, make it a little bit nicer. So we are just working with what we got and we're gonna make it our style and as cool of a grunge basement gym as you can get. So. Let's get started. So these are the two walls. We are just gonna like do some like temporary walls just to make it kind of look nice and have like a nice little shelf up top since there is drywall up here. Um, on this side, we're not gonna be doing any wall. <laughs> Alright you guys, so all the pillow insulation is covered for this area and looks good. We just used regular MDF, it's just easier to work with and I just like MDF. <laughs> so I just have to like fill all the lines and all the nail holes and we're going to paint that white. And then we'll get like a trim piece for up top here for like a little shelf. Just to kind of show you how we did that, pushed up against the pillow insulation. So there's quite a wide space here, but we'll be putting some nice trim pieces on top to make a little shelf all the way around. So I just finished up filling all the seams. So what I usually fill all my seams with is this depth of plastic wood. Works really well and does a good job. So now I'm gonna work on getting our first coat of paint on here. I am using the bare paint and primer in eggshell. I just did the ultra pure white right out of the can. Didn't get it tinted or anything. Just needed white and that's perfect. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> Alright, the first coat is on looking good. So because we only have like the two windows here in our basement, excuse that mess. <laughs> you know, white is like the best color. It's light, it reflects light, and it's perfect for basements. And it's just a crisp, clean feeling. And speaking of brightness, <laughs> this is the one and only light we have down here, and that needs to go. We need more light. So I found this a four foot LED ceiling light um, that can be wired in. And one thing that was very important to me if you watched my bathroom remodel and our kitchen remodel <laughs> the different light tones that it puts off so I had to find one that offered daylight because so many of these large lights are more like a bright white which is more yellow and I don't like yellow toned lights so that was important so we can change it to all three colors if you want but I can tell you one thing it's gonna be right here on daylight <laughs> see what it looks like Nice! 
Y'all, that is beautiful. All right, you guys, so we are doing a thing. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this, but now that we're like getting to the point of painting and before we get everything in here, I'm gonna do it. We are gonna spray the ceiling white. I love exposed ceilings. However, I don't love all the pink insulation and all the writing and all the pinks. So we're gonna spray this white. We have a paint sprayer and then we cover the beam because I love that steel beam up there. I think it's so cool. We've never done this, so kind of excited to see how this turns out. I'm using the same exact paint we use for the walls. It's the paint primer in pure white. This is our paint sprayer. And it says amazing. We've done a lot of spraying of like doors and stuff with it, and we love it. Safety first, everybody. First coat is on. Ran out of paint. <laughs> I only had like three quarter of a gallon, so I knew I'd run out pretty quick. I don't know, I'm assuming this will take two, maybe three coats to get it like complete coverage. Looks pretty cool. I'm actually digging how this is looking. But we were just talking, and so we have this huge steel beam. I don't know if we're gonna actually paint this side just because of this transition. Like, let me show you. So like, Here's the workout room. And then the rest of our basement's like way over here, but we're not doing anything with this side of the basement. So it'd be weird not to have paint on the rest. So we're like, this beam is kind of a nice transition, but then it's like only half is done. So I don't know, we'll see. The people at Home Depot said um, I can put this primer on top of the drywall and that will seal it so I can paint it. So we'll see how this goes. I've never used it before. We got this all primed with the drywall primer and that is drying. It has to dry for two hours and I guess they're painting it white. And of course I did it up there as well. This isn't drywall, it's MDF. So I didn't want to like put it on there since it's not meant for MDF. So while everything is drying, this is my next project. Hey bud, no whining. So I bought this MDF bull nose wood and this is gonna be the toppers for the little shelves here on our little like temporary walls. I'm gonna be painting these beauties black. Same black that we used in our bedroom makeover. I'm digging the black and I think that would pop so nice in here. Just a nice white and black workout room. So I am starting to paint everything white now that we have like the drywall primer on and everything. And we are not retexturing this drywall. Um, we're just gonna leave it as is because you guys, I don't really want to go through all that. <laughs> it's not really worth it. We're just gonna leave it as because it looks really good without all the texture. It's pretty even for the most part. And I have a big mirror going on here, so it really doesn't matter. And the little spaces up there, I'll have like some pictures and stuff. And you know what? It's the gym. It's gonna be grunge, but cool at the same time. It doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> all right, our toppers are going on our temporary walls. <laughs> so here's what it's looking like so far. And then we're gonna trim this out here and it'll look really nice. We're just taking our nail gun and popping some nails all the way down into this two by four. We're not actually attaching anything to this wall at all. All right, so here's the trim we're putting up, so it will cover this. See, finishes off really nice. And then I just gotta do some paint touch up. We are doing the trim on the floor now. And this is just standard three and a half inch craftsman trim. That's my favorite type of trim, so it's coming together. Everything's getting trimmed out nicely. All right, now we're trimming out the window with just a standard trim. Um, usually when I'm trimming out windows, I would use a thicker header for more character, but because it's a basement and the ceilings are lower, I'm just sticking with three and a half trim all the way around. Painting is done, um, and I ordered a really large rug from Amazon for the floor in here. I actually prefer working out on like carpet or like a rug or something. I don't like bare 
flooring to work out on. It has to have like a tiny bit of cushion. And I know there's like the cushion flooring for like workout rooms, but we didn't want to go crazy with that. And plus it's always in the color black. You guys, black is like the worst color to keep clean on a floor. So there's no way I would put that in here because it would drive me absolutely nuts. Light flooring or rugs is the way to go. So you don't see footprints every time you walk on it. The rug is in. Needs to settle though. It's all wrinkly, but looks really nice. I like it. Just wanted to share with you guys the different art I got for the gym here. So, um, found these all on Etsy. If you know, that's where I get all my stuff from is Etsy. So, got these prints from Etsy, all three of these. Got them sized how I need them for the frames that I have. Just got them back from the one hour photo at Walmart and they look so cool. So we bought a Marcy multi home gym system <laughs> and we get to put it together. This is gonna be super fun. <laughs> A lot of pieces and then a lot of parts. So when we were updating our home and decorating it and doing all the things with our home remodel here, um, one thing I very much made sure that I was not gonna do in this house was put quotes everywhere. Decor has all the quotes like welcome or farmhouse or I love my family, <laughs> you know, whatever it is. I was not gonna do that. I didn't want no words on the walls. Like I just, I'm like over that style. I don't want quotes everywhere. However, in our home gym, I am putting in a few quote items as you saw in the last little clip there of the inhale, exhale. Um, well now I got a vinyl sticker um, to put above like our large mirror here. And I just ordered from Amazon and I'm like, you know the gym, a little motivation, a little bit of quotes, that's okay. But I'm just not doing it anywhere else in our house. This is the vinyl sticker. It says, love the process. It took me for Ever to figure out like what I wanted to put here. All right, you guys, it's official. The gym is complete. So let's head down to the basement and I'll show you how it turned out. But before we head to the basement, let me remind you what it looked like before we started. Now, check this out. That is our brand new home gym and I love, love, love it. It turned out so, so good, better than I expected and having these temporary walls that are removable just makes the room feel definitely more complete than having the entire room as an installation. <laughs> and I am absolutely obsessed with our new multi-gym home gym equipment. It's like the perfect equipment that like lets you do almost any type of exercise without having to buy like 10 pieces of equipment. So highly recommend if you're looking to put in a home gym, get like a multi-gym system because you can get the most bang for your buck and you don't need a lot of space for it. They're nice and compact. They also do everything you need them to do. So let me turn on the camera and I will share with you all the things I added to our home gym. All right, so I'm just gonna start off with the home gym system here. This is the Marcy Diamond Elite Home Gym System. There's like pulley systems everywhere. We got lift bars, we got arms, like it is a complete complete system and we ordered it directly from Marcy just in case something was wrong or we had issues it's just better to use a the manufacturer than actually like ordering it from a third party so we needed parts or something they have our order information it just makes all that much easier and then this bench comes with it as well with the leg extension we purchased this separately from the one that it comes with originally um, just because there is a few features on here we preferred better the bench it came with it had like a dial you had to unscrew each time to lift the back and that drove us nuts. So we just love this bench much better. It's the same exact brand. We have been using it now for about a week and we love it. Like it works so well. No complaints. Everything is great. Our muscles are really sore. So highly recommend. And I will leave all the links in the description of all the equipment and all the things. So if you are interested, you can definitely go check them out. All right, I did buy a brand new dumbbell rack just because the one I used to have was like the V shape and it couldn't hold all my weights. I bought it on Amazon and it has been absolutely awesome. Now, as I mentioned, I got all our little artwork here from Etsy. 
right there. He's in the back there. I don't know about you guys, but I love having kind of a guide when I'm working out. So I just wrote down a whole bunch of exercises on these little pieces of paper, found these little clips at Walmart, and it's perfect. So when it's leg day, I can follow along on the leg guide. When it's arms and abs, I have those guides to kind of remind me of exercises and cardio. So this is perfect and I use it every single time I work out to give me refreshers and reminders of some good exercises for each body part. So fun fact, this large mirror here on this wall and the one over there on that little wall, those were both mirrors from our bathrooms when we remodeled them. So we put in new mirrors in our master bath and then my husband's bathroom. And so we just repurposed those mirrors that we didn't want in our bathrooms for our gym and it was perfect we didn't have to go buy new mirrors absolutely loving how this quote turned out it looks so good right above the mirrors here's my extra bar for deadlifts and then over here i just kind of have like a catch-all basket so i have a foam roller here which i love to just kind of roll out my body after a workout and then i have lots of bands i love using bands for leg work as well as ankle weights these i use a lot all the time now that we have the home gym and we have a lot of pulley systems on it i don't use my regular bands as much because i can do everything on our multi-gym and it just has so many different attachments and I can add more weight to the multi-gym than what I can get from the bands. There's definitely more resistance and weights. Just a bunch of like smaller little weights in the bottom, but it's just kind of like the catch-all for all this smaller exercise equipment. It's a nice big basket. I think I bought it from Target like three or four years ago, so works perfect. All right, you guys, and that is it. That is our brand new home gym in our unfinished basement but it turned out very darn cute. You don't need a lot of space to work out and get in a good workout. And if you have the right equipment, like it makes all the difference. Not everyone loves going to a gym like me. However, I love my home gym. So I hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration. If you are currently working on a home gym, I was able to give you some tips and tricks and advice. If you have any questions, be sure to comment below and let me know too. Do you want to see like workout fitnessy type vlogs on my channel is that something you would be interested in if so comment below give this video a thumbs up thank you guys so much for tuning in and we will see you guys in the next vlog bye guys bye.